Hi, good day. My name is Ursula Janke and I'm from the Clay Club. Today I'm going to show you our new exciting range of our little uh, succulents that we make on a beautiful little heart frame. This is what it's going to look like at the end of the day. So we're going to make one of these frames today. So I'm going to take you through the step-by-step -step process on how to actually make this photo frame. First of all, what you are going to do is you're going to take your wooden board like this and you're going to make yourself a little border with your glue. You're going to take your little tiles and you're going to place them here all along the edge. You're also going to go around the side over here but what I would like to show you today is how to actually go around a corner. So you're going to take your cutter, you're going to take your wheel like this and you turn your tile slightly to the side over here, hold it and you cut it. Once you've done that and you put them down, you can see as you do that, you can actually go around the corner because you don't want to leave big gaps around the sides. So what you do over there, you actually take your glue like this and then as you see here, you can go around the curve, leaving a tiny little one millimeter space between your tiles. Like that. What I've done is I've actually got the next process for you over here. So as you see, I've completed over here. I've done my frame. I've done that so far. And this is where we need to do the curve. Slightly to the side, you cut it. Take your next one and you cut it. So a little bit of glue. Put it on and here we go, around the side. Okay. Once you've completed over here, what you do is you take your tiles. And what I do is I call this a random cut. You just cut it and you cut them into just different little shapes. Take your little glue and this is where you just build some little puzzles. You don't want to leave big gaps between your tiles. And then if you need to find a piece like that, you just cut it to fit in. What you can also do is just lay out your little flowers, the succulents that we have over here. You just put them over there. You're going to then mosaic until underneath there. Putting all of that on there. So once you have completed everything, you take your inserts off. You're going to take your grout. Take your grout powder, pour it into another little container. Don't use all of it because what you're going to need to do is you're going to sprinkle some of the dry powder on top. Very little bit of water. You stir. Until you reach toothpaste consistency. Give it a good stir. Make sure there's no lumps in here. That's the consistency you're looking for. Once you've done that and your mosaic is dry overnight, you're just going to take your little stick and you're going to be pushing it in here. Make sure you've covered your sides. I then take the dry powder and I just sprinkle it softly on top like that. Like 
you leave that for about five minutes and you can see over here where the cracks are that it starts getting wet over there that helps you stopping gouging out your grout afterwards once we've completed that you're going to take some scrunched up newspaper or some roller towel and in little circle mo mo movements you're just going to take the top grout off And as you can see, everything's nice and level and it, your towels are clean on top. Okay. When you're finished that, this is the product that you end up with. So this is what the product looks like when you're finished. So this is just a small little pro uh, project that you can make but then you can go on to making bigger things. Here's a blackboard that I've made with the new succulents and we've put them on some little jars and there's so much that you can create. And that's me, Ursula Janke from The Clay Club. Thank you very much for taking some time to watch this.